I appreciate that uh, Watermelon doesn't like dumb down like these complicated uh, uh, personal narratives uh, and uh, you know relationships between characters. I appreciate that because uh, it's so easy to just like make like the like the um, the uh, you know uh, the the regular narrative of of uh, going out and and uh, you know avenging uh, your destroyed village or your destroyed you know hometown or something. It's so easy to to do that. But to do something more than that take, takes a lot more effort. And I appreciate that they put the effort into it. I appreciate that Watermelon put the effort into it. They're trying to tell a, a, uh, a relatively mature story with relatively mature storytelling. Uh, I appreciate that. The characters are definitely not one-dimensional. There's there's depth there. You don't see that in a lot of uh, a lot of retro-styled games. So Alina fled town. Guess I should go tell Edison. Huh? I should go save first. I, I I don't like to do too much without saving. if Edisot is supposed to be like, like his name is supposed to be a take on Edison because they're both like inventors. It kind of has like, I mean, it starts off the same, like the two, the first two syllables are the same. So I wonder if that's intentional or if it's just a coincidence. Okay, now this part threw me for a loop. 
All right, so, so Hostin says, look, somebody must have seen her, right? So we'll ask around. Then, when we know where she went, we'll follow, okay? So there's like a, like a series of events here that are laid out for me to follow. Hostin says, we ask around. Okay, so you ask around. But then, after you find out, after you know where she went, that's when you follow, right? So I spent so much time talking to the NPCs, not getting any information and thinking I was like an idiot for not being able to figure it out. Um, this, this is where the game kind of, I mean, true to its 16-bit roots, because a lot of games back then did this kind of thing, um, no one in town tells you where she went. Like, no one saw her. I was talking to, I talked to every NPC in town like 15 times. Nobody has anything to say about where she went. What you're supposed to do is just pick up and go to the next town. But the way Hostin describes it here says, once we know where she is, then we'll follow. That's the way he describes it here. So that's not what you do. And that really threw me for a loop. I got, I got kind of frustrated with that, to be honest with you. I mean, I was just doing what the game told me to do, and I wasted so much time in town asking around. But speaking of asking people, I gotta show you. There is this one chick up here that is a complete jerk. So, like, Alina fled town, right? So you're supposed to ask around. There's this chick up here. Let me see if I can find her. Yeah, this chick. Get a load of this chick here. Your girlfriend ran away and you are chasing her? Some guys just don't know when to stop. When will we women be free from this oppression? Oh, I just have to laugh, though, because that's so... I fully understand why she ran away from you, wandering off to a dangerous cave and almost getting her killed. What did you expect, young man? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I, I just... I had to show you that chick, man. But, uh, alright, anyway. So yeah, you don't, you don't need to waste any time asking around, because nobody in town knows where she went. So I spent so much time just... I wasted so much time here asking everybody. Elena? I'm afraid no, I haven't seen her. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much the case with everybody you talk to. So, I kind of thought, like, at first, okay, so Alina's house is up here, right? Uh, where? Up here. This the one, yeah. This one here with the hammering on, on the top. So I was, like, trying to find NPCs that were kind of roaming around the house, or, or, like, you go in and you talk to her dad or whatever. Because you think that this would be, like, where the clue would be. Like, okay, you talk to the dad. He's got nothing to say. So you waste all this time what you're supposed to do is just go to the next one, even though it told you specifically to ask around. Oh, I haven't seen her. So, it's across this bridge here. God, I really feel that Edisa is under-leveled. Under I don't think he'll, uh, he'll really have an easy time surviving out here. But all we gotta do is make it to the next town. We'll just run across this bridge. We don't really need to talk to anybody. Oh wait, there was a chest back here. Let me go grab that. Uh, where is it? Oh, hold on. Looks like I gotta turn this off. All right, so there's a chest back here. There it is. Gold coin. All right, so we'll go ahead and head to the, uh, the next town. There's a long bridge. What was I stuck on there? Okay. All right. So here's the oasis. The town is called Oasis. Okay. 
Um, so we're looking for Alina. There's some more chests to pick up here. Berries. Alright, I mean, may maybe Hostin meant let's ask around several different towns to see if we can find her, but that doesn't make sense. You'd try to ask around, like, where she left from, but it doesn't matter, though, because here she is. I love their uh, their interpersonal relationships. Like they treat each other like real friends treat each other, and I, I appreciate that. <laughs> Quiet, you. All right, the ancients have gone north from here through canyons. I wonder what we'll find. All right, so here's like. There's like a market. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call that the stream. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to tune in tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know what game I'm going to be doing yet, but uh, a lot of great games came out recently for the PS4, so it'll probably be something awesome. So be sure to, uh, to check out tomorrow's episode, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go ahead and hit this save point for quitting. Alright, so thanks for watching. See you next time.